So in today's lesson, um, we're going to carry on with our uh, topic of transformations. Last week, we looked at how we carry out uh, equations that involved reflections. So we're moving on to the next of our transformations, and we're going to look at today translations. Okay, so a translation is when we simply move a shape left, right, uh, up or down, and the orientation of the shape stays exactly the same when we do that. What I mean by when I talk about the orientation is, uh, so say if we look at this uh, triangle here, uh, after I've moved it, it will still be pointing with this point to, out to the left, so it'll still be pointing in the same direction, whereas when we look at reflections, uh, the shape is inverted, so it becomes flipped the other way. Okay, so that's one way of telling a translation when you look at it, is that the shape will actually still be pointing in the same direction. Okay, so I will show you how to do this. Uh, these types of questions involving vectors. Uh, I'll look at the most basic uh, type of translation question here, where I might be simply asked to move a shape um, using a sentence. So uh, in this example, we're asked to move shape A to right and three up. Okay, so here we'll have shape A, and we're asked to move it two to the right and three up. Okay, so what I do is I will generally, until I'm more confident doing these, I will uh, simply count each point uh, two right and three up. So what I mean by that there, and again, um, my advice would always be to use a pencil when you're doing any question involving transformations and of course a ruler. I of course can't use a ruler because I'm using my left hand to hold the camera and I'm gonna use a pen just so the uh, examples appear in a different color within the video okay so we're going to go two right and three up so i always use these as we guidelines i'm going to code two right and three up so starting with this bottom left corner two to the right so i'm going one two three up one two three okay so this point has moved from here to here and the reason i do each point one at a time so i've done this point i can cross it off and i also cross them off so i know i've, I've already moved that point it's because sometimes uh, people would then go, okay, it's moved to here, and they would maybe draw the triangle, the rest of the triangle in their own position. Do each point one at a time. So I'm going to do this corner next. So again, I'm going two right, one, two, three up, one, two, three. So that point has moved there. That's that bottom side moved. All right, and then I'll do this last point. One, two, and then one, two, three. So there we go. There is my triangle. Again, of course, you would use a pencil and a ruler for this. It has moved from here to here, and there it is in the same orientation. It is pointing the same direction. It's the exact same shape, pointing the exact same direction. Okay? And that is our most basic type of translation question. Um, we're using a the sentence. They have, told us, uh, they have told us the direction uh, to move the shape. Okay? Uh, moving on is where we're asked to move the shape by using a vector. So this is a vector. We have two numbers. Uh, one above the other. The top number, okay, so in this uh, case we've been asked to move shape B by a vector of minus 1, 2. The top number tells us whether we move the shape left or right. If the number is negative, we're going to the left. If it's positive, we're going to the right. And the bottom number tells us whether we're going up or down. If it's positive, we're going up. If it's negative, we're going down. So, each point one at a time. I'm going to start with this one. Again, it's a triangle. Okay, I'm going in this case, um, I'm going to negative, so I'm going one left. And again, I can write this on, it's no problem. And the bottom number is positive, so two up. Okay, so one left and two up. Okay, so one left and two up. One, two. So that point is moved from there to there. You don't need to draw these wee um, bumps on, but I just use it to demonstrate how you simply count them, okay? Um, I'm going to move this point next, so I'm going one left and two up, one to the left and then two up, one, two, and nice and big where my next point is going to be, so there I've moved this left hand side of the triangle, and now I'm going to move this last point here, so again, I'm going one left and two up, one, two, so there we go, okay, and again, of course you'll be using ruler to join the sides up. There is my triangle, same triangle, same orientation, and it's moved from here to here. Sometimes they do ask you to uh, rename the triangle, might say label the triangle B uh, dash or something like that there. So just keep an eye out for that if it does ask it ever in, within the question, or rename it a different letter. Just keep an eye out for it and read the question carefully. 
Again, the next equation, similar nature, okay, we're going to move shape C by vector 3 minus 2, okay, so the top number again tells us left or right, and it's positive this time, so we're going 3 to the right, and the bottom number tells us whether we're going up or down, and it's minus, so we're going 2 down, okay, and we've got a shape of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points, but again, you'll see very quickly, um, where the shape starts to take uh, take a, take up position after we start to move the points. Doesn't really matter where we start. Three right and two down each time. So one, two, three, one, two. So this top left corner has moved from here to here. I'm gonna go here next. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. And maybe gonna go here next and join these up as a go. So there I've moved the top side already. So again, I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two. So there you go. And when you're more confident, you can see where the shape is, okay? I mean, I could sit and count again and move each point a bit at a time, or when we're a bit more confident and realize, okay, well, that's going to be where the rest of my shape goes, just to speed things up a wee bit as well. And if I want to check, I'll take this part of the shape, and if I was to count, uh, three to the right and two down. I should end up here. So let's try that. One, two, three. One, two. And I've ended up exactly where I wanted to be. Okay. Uh, the last type of question we're going to look at today is where we're asked to describe the translation of D to E using a vector. Okay. So quite often when you get this type of question within a GCSE, um, they would give you lines maybe to write a sentence. And in that case, I'd always just write a quick sentence just to describe it. So. Make sure you're going that direct, in the right direction. So we're going from D to E, okay? So pick a point, okay? And you can draw arrows. So I'm going, if you remember, the top number in a vector is left or right. Okay, and if we just keep in mind looking at this, we're going from D to E, so we're going left. So we need to get from here to here. So we're going one, two, three, four. And if we're going left, Left is minus, so we're going minus four. Now I'm here, I need to get to here. Okay, so I'm going up this way. So if you remember again, up is positive, so I'm going two up. So I'm going minus four, two. So we'll just write that uh, in the center. So um, uh, ship D moves to E um, with a translation vector of minus 4, 2. Okay? So that realistically covers all the different types of equations that you, you'll get in translations. Um, when we summarize uh, in a later video the topic of transformations, um, we're going to look at how we describe uh, transformations um, when we see them. Okay, so at the minute, if you've watched the two videos that are up so far, you should be able to recognize a reflection. So a reflection is recognizable by the fact that the shapes are inverted. And a translation is recognizable by this, the fact that the shapes stay the same orientation and it just moved from one position to another. Okay, so we will come back to this when we look at describing uh, our different transformations. I put some questions in the comments um, for you to try and any issues as always, just ask.